Next up, let's go to Anish. Anish, are you here? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, there you go. Yes. <laughs> go ahead, Anish. Okay. Uh, let me share my screen. Yes. VC. Your screen. Hi, my name is Anish Sankiredi, and uh, I'm currently a freshman at Marvin Ridge High School. My research is on the effects of childhood trauma on brain development and career. So what is childhood trauma? It's any kind of abuse, neglect, anything like that experienced in childhood. And this can cause many problems in brain development and emotional regulation later on in life. And so my objective was to explore these negative effects and find ways to treat it and prevent it so people can get over it, get past it. And so my literature review, uh, the, main, the main site I used was ResearchGate to find articles about childhood trauma and so current research was mainly about the treatments and causes, but there was less about the school and career performance that is affected. And so I wanted to explore more of this. And so there were some smaller articles and I was able to analyze the data from all of these and put it together. And so from my methodology and results, uh, I mainly found articles about the specific negative effects. And what I found was that brain development was significantly stunted. And as you can see in this picture, a normal brain is developing here and a three-year-old who was extremely neglected has a much smaller brain. And so some main areas that are affected are the hippocampus, which affects your learning and memory, the prefrontal cortex, which affects your decision-making, the corpus callosum, which allows both sides of the brain to interact with each other, and this is really important, and the amygdala, which regulates emotional control and helps you control your emotions. So another significant thing I found was that childhood trauma Affects negatively affects college acceptance and completion rate. So the there was a survey, a study that showed that childhood trauma, the people who had childhood trauma, uh, were not accepted into college as much, and this is because of emotional regulation and the, in interviews and essays, they can have certain triggers from emotional trauma, and this can cause them to have some kind of some kind of emotional reaction that could that could stop their uh, progress. And so I also found that the probability of developing certain conditions like depression and anxiety is significantly increased. So trauma from childhood can cause sadness, anger, ir irritation, and this all can develop into more severe problems like depression which is very important because this is a problem that is prevalent in society today. So it's important to stop this. And I also found that treatments that involve any type of community or family are sig more significant because they include people close to you that are helping and this can really help with emotional, emotional uh, progress. So my conclusion was that childhood trauma has really significant negative impacts on the range development. And these impacts like emotional regulation can really affect how successful you are in your career. And so two treatments I found were EBT and uh, one that I found that EBT and it has uh, almost 70% success rate but it can be really hard to access in lower income communities, which is where childhood trauma is most prevalent. So 
So two low cost treatments I found were bibliotherapy and play therapy, which can really help. And so bibliotherapy is a therapy where basically story it's therapeutic storytelling and it really helps children uh, go through their traumatic experiences through stories and play therapy. It's basically where you reenact childhood traumatic experiences and it can help you go through it again and get past all that. So I hope my research has furthered the understanding of how childhood trauma can affect, can affect an individual's career. So since not much research has been done on that before, uh, I really hope that people will see more about how not just your brain can be affected, but how that can actually affect your career and all that too. And so a limitation in my research was that my research actually was just a literature review. It hasn't, it hasn't had as much studies like scan, brain scans and all that. So I uh, hope future research can go more into can go more into that and also have larger pools of people in the studies to have a better understanding. And so my experience with Gifted Gabber, Professor Virgil really helped me in organizing my paper and really learning how to write a research paper. And I really don't think I would have been able to write this without him. And Professor Varki really helped me understand all the content and know how I should be writing and really helped me know what to add and how to really describe everything. Thank you for listening. Um, you can, yeah, you can stop sharing. Uh, Dr. Verki, a question for Anish. Yeah, Anish, good job again. Like uh, I remember like having that one-to-one -one interaction. I bet you have more than what uh, is just in this short presentation. Mm -hmm. so could you like just for all the uh, listeners also mention like are, what are the ways of uh, 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 I mean, how do they know that whether somebody has undergone trauma, childhood trauma? So, so yeah, there's, there's no specific diagnosis, but basically the main thing, is, main diagnosis method is only on people's experiences themselves. So this is a problem right now because they're still psychologists can't specifically uh, decide whether it's childhood trauma or any other physiological factors, uh, the symptoms. So mm -hmm. diagnosis really depends on a person's experiences and what they say. Basically. Very good. And uh, just wanted to mention that it's not a limitation on like of your research that you could not uh, do much more than this, uh, but this is just a stepping stone to what you can know more in future. Uh, very good job. Thank you. Awesome, awesome job. Um, a great round of applause for Anish. And Anish, this is just the beginning. Um, and uh, you just start from here. I mean, you can continue that, right? Um, wonderful job. So everybody, two questions for Anish. <laughs> Thank you.